Hi, I'm Peter Kruder. And this is Richard Dorfmeister and you're watching Toasted. Ching. Kruder and Dorfmeister on the road again. Yeah, Fantastic news. In well, this case it's Dorfmeister and Kruder. Yeah. Well, still on the road again. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. 16 years of G-Stone and 18 years of Dorfmeister and Kruder. He's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a yeah, fan, yeah. guys. I'm a fan. I, I mean, I brought, I brought my collection, and this is all that's left. Because my girlfriends, ex-girlfriends... the rest. It's, it's, it's the problem. We have this all the time. We have, yeah, yeah, we have guys complaining record collections stolen by ex-girlfriends. Yeah, it's not the first time that we yeah, hear that. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is? You need the records to get the girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. And then they take it. That's, that's how we made our money. That's, that's, that's how you sell yeah, 2.7 yeah, yeah. million records. Hey, what a magnificent yeah. feat, guys. So much, so many records all on your own. That's incredible. Yeah, that's good. It's good. We're happy about that. I can imagine. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's not only one record. It was, it's a accumulation of all the records we, we released over the years. You know. Hey, what a fantastic uh, video that is with all the cake throwing. Uh, oh, yeah. but, uh, who came up with that idea? Because that's brilliant. And we were sitting and, and uh, talking about the, the, the record cover and this was the, after a lot of ideas, this was the final idea where we said, okay, let's do that. And it was great fun. It was Are there real cakes? Or there's yeah, so yeah. much color in it. No, that it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's no Photoshop, it's, it's all real. Yeah, all real and, and they were made especially so that they don't have the, you know, normally the cakes have something brown inside yeah. and we had to leave that out because otherwise if you throw them and there's a lot of cakes lying around, it doesn't look that nice, you know, you can then... And it's, like, it's like a Clockwork Orange meets uh, yeah. uh, the last well, dinner of the, surprise. In the, in, the, in the beginning we were looking for an, a sort of explosion thing, something that explodes. Yeah. And then we went through all these ideas and then, then we just uh, did the thing with the cakes. And at the end, that was the best sort of explosion that happened. Because we, if you throw a cake on somebody's head, you get this <laughs> picture. It's all guys that, that you work with, right? Yeah, yeah. we, we, rented, the, we rented the studio, we got all the people in, we, rent, we, we ordered the cakes, we bought the, the suits, you know. It's all fantastic. The, uh, Hey, are you gonna? Are you gonna? You're, you're touring now. I mean, are you gonna stick to this tour? Because I only, yeah, only do, saw like three do. or four gigs. No, no, we. It's no, no. it's number five now. We did Italy before, like Rome, Milan, and Hungary and Austria, where where we did the pre premiere, cool. and it's it's going to co be continued um, in August by with three other dates in Portugal, Germany, and England. It's a big chill, Fantastic. and then we go to America in October. Okay. Will you go back to Europe? Will you come back to Holland, for instance? Oh, probably, probably, yeah. probably, probably uh, next year. Then, yeah. And is there going to be new music? Uh, probably. <laughs> That's fantastic news, because I mean, we've been waiting for you guys to do some new stuff for a while, and I know you only want to put out something that's timeless and really good. So I can imagine it takes time, but. 12 years I mean, I mean since we have we've been we have been waiting for such a long time mm -hmm. it doesn't matter anymore it's uh, once we really find the point to release something then it should be at least be something that 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 we like at least and that's not so easy well if you guys like it we're gonna like it as well it's yeah. funny because you know people ask us about our album in 98 and we always said, nah, that we have to release date 2018 as a joke. <laughs> but now it's, yeah, it seems like it's then. Really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, we were listening to the yeah. record in the car today, and the first ones, and what our discussion was like, how many records do you know that were produced in that time with those little means uh, yeah, that yeah. still sound so fucking amazing? Yeah. No, it, it, it's, it's great because when we did the compilation out of 16 years, we were listening to all the old stuff, and. We also found that some of the stuff is really timeless. You know, it's, it's really all of it probably. Yeah. Some of us more or less, but it's that's really a, a nice feeling. You know, it's nice to. I think already we we already said that 13 years ago when we that when we've been asked what our style is, and then we said we want to do classics, mm -hmm. but we just said it like that. And now it turns out to be true. <laughs> they probably have it like, you know, we want to make classics and a lot of people will tell you, well, that's impossible, you're never going to do that. I like, don't know, when you do something that is going to be a classic, you do, of or course, you just, yeah. you just... Is it true? Just, is that just showing off. But is but, that but true? That's yeah, no, it, it was our approach. But it was truly our approach. That the idea was, was with Cheese was always to make just classics. 
just no fillers. We release albums where there's every song good and not not just three, and the rest is like whatever. absolutely. And and now when since our show is divided into three parts, it's like the past, the present, and the future. So you're playing new stuff as well. We play new yeah. stuff as well, but but the first part is like the old, some older mid-tempo beat stuff. Okay. And and it's great because the people they they, they know it, and that's that's these are the classics in a way. And, and there, there's also on your new. Uh, on the celebration album, there are like two okay knee songs. Mm. One is an older song, Young Man, that, that appeared on uh, Give Him Enough Dope, right? Mm. So I was first hoping for a new stuff. I'm a fan, well, guy. Inform, sure, man. Yeah, man. Good, good. Uh, yeah, man. I only got yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. Jeez, I got so much to ask. Yeah, yeah. So, but the new stuff is definitely coming out. Is it going to be a full length album? Is it going to be a double? Or? We will see. We work on, on things, but uh, we will see uh, in whatever format it comes out in at whatever time. You know, it, it's we work on stuff. So, and, and the, uh, the biggest thing we did now is that show. So that that was the the last half yeah, year. You only go you know. from point to point. You you just you finish one project, yeah. then you go to the next. Yeah. And um, the thing it's all about a feeling. As it's when we started as well, it was it was more about the feeling thing. And if that's right, then everything else is right. Yeah. Yeah, if it's not forced by something or by by somebody who's telling you what you do and all these things. If if the feeling's good. Most of the other stuff comes by itself. Mm. I think. Be being a fan, I, I wanted you, you guys disappeared for a little while after the KD sessions and you started your own projects. Uh, why was that? Did you, were you guys fed up with each other or fed up with no, the music? No, 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 I mean, it, it was, I, I think now, in re re retrospective, I have to say, probably it was a, a, a way of um, uh, um, escaping all the, the mad hype. I mean, you have to imagine after the release of the album. Like we, we we got so many offers and we got the whole thing went out of out of bounds. You know, it was just too too much because we we didn't intend that. Yeah. And and since we not we were not part of any program or any record company deal, so normally we would have been just you know uh, been sent on tour and and then played ourselves to death, or then do another 500 remixes or whatever. And, and since we were not in this position, we just said. But we don't need that. We don't need to do it. And, and we, also, we also wanted to we we wanted to stay in control, you know. And whatever we did up to that point was within our control. So every next step to you know the, to come to the next level would have meant to work with people where you have to uh, give them also a certain amount of control. And we never wanted that. So that's why our idea was to do our, our little side projects to. Yeah, and to keep it on an organic, cool level. Yeah. We, uh, we've never been interested in all this freak out, mega shit. I mean, we know that and we are aware of that. And But we don't, you know. You turned down some crazy offers, right? I mean, the whole yeah. world called yeah. you. Yeah. But, but you know, that's that's the reason why we can still tour now. You know, that is one of the reasons why we can do that. Because yeah. I, I'm sure if we would have put out a, a record in 99 and another one in 2001 and another one in 2003, it would have been over. You know, and so it would have killed. After yeah. a while, it kills the con it kills the interest. Yeah. So, um, and that's why we all said, if there's nothing really there, we don't release it. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And, and it has to do as well with with our own knowledge of of other people's, you know, uh, biographies and and how how the industry somehow works and how and it's just you know it's it it's 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 a projection business. Fantastic thing is that everybody said it couldn't be done, yet you pulled it off. That's a fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but you know that's that's. Uh, I think we we are very good with working with that circumstance. If you tell us you cannot do it, you probably can. Yeah, then we'd probably try as hard as possible. But that's that's a good thing. You know, that's 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 the thing about Vienna as well. You know, it's, what is Austria in pop history? Nothing. You know, yeah, Mozart. <laughs> yeah, Mozart. Yeah, and Falco. You know, but but that's it. That's about it. You know, so. Yeah. That's another fun thing that I read, like the, the best thing outside of Austria since Mozart and the biggest thing outside of Austria since Arnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where did you read that? On your own website. Yeah. Oh, I thought you read it in Playboy or something. <laughs> you all look like a Playboy guy, thank you very much. Hey, your manager is killing me, we have to stop, you guys are going on stage. Right. One more thing, it took me a trip to Jamaica to find out what Boombaclad means. Ah. Where did you guys get it? We got it from the, from the oh, yeah. from the track. Yeah, from, from Compost. The we did the remix uh, for I don't even know what the band was called. What was the band called? Uh, notorious. Ah, notorious. Something notorious. notorious. Yeah. 
Alabama was cool, yeah. With Tor no Torres, with no, with K N O, no Torres. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys very much. I'm looking forward to the live show. I'm looking forward to see you guys uh, back in Europe again. Wish you all the best on your tour.